So Junaid, you founded a company, NoDegree.com, which helps folks get into tech uh, who are not from uh, computer science or a degree background. What are your five tips, if you will, uh, you'd like to give our uh, viewers uh, based on, on around your experiences regarding how can one break into tech without a degree? Hey, my name is Junaid Iqbal. I'm the founder of NoDegree.com and host of the No Degree podcast, where I interview people without college degrees and have them share their story. So today, I'm going to give you five tips on how to break into tech without a college degree. So people have this misconception that you need a college degree, that you need a computer science degree to sort of break into tech. So the first thing is, what I would tell you to do is really look at online resources. So obviously check out Kunal's YouTube and check these resources. But here's one thing, a lot of people will watch one or two videos, but don't stop there. I would tell you, watch 50 to 100 videos. Really get immerse yourself into the technology. So the first tip is check out good YouTube channel of technology. There's another channel that I would recommend, Coding Phase, who gives a lot of guidance on projects that you should do. The second thing I would say is make sure that you work on your emotional intelligence. This is often an extremely underrated skills, and a lot of college students lack emotional intelligence. Learn how to talk to people, learn how to present, learn how to work with others, learn how to ask for advice, learn these things. The third thing I would say is get a mentor. A lot of times, information gets overwhelming. What a mentor will do is they'll give you specific and strategic advice that's customized to you, and there'll be a soundboard. Yes, you can find almost anything online, but oftentimes a mentor can sort of answer a question in two to three minutes, whereas it may take you two to three hours if you ever find that answer at all. The fourth thing is, I would say, network and join communities. This is very underrated. A lot of people find jobs and they find mentors in Slack communities, Discord channels, and all that. Twitter, LinkedIn, these are great ways to really set yourself apart. Because the majority of college students go through a traditional process. Don't go through a traditional process because you're non-traditional. Use a network, make lifelong friends. And the fifth is be consistent. So many people fall off and they stop. Be consistent, realize that it's not short term, and stick with it. Stick with it, and with enough time, you will break into tech without a college degree.